Alright, what's going on everybody? My name is Brendan. We're about to react to the new BTS trailer. We're gonna react to the DK DK TV breakdown of the trailer. But first, if you know the lyrics, uh, please sing with me because I should not be doing this alone. You know, if you don't know the lyrics or you don't want your ears to bleed, then check the description for the timeline. You skip this part, but we're just trying to get the energy going, you know, like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this. The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffle king. Mm. Who am I? The question I've been trying to answer my whole life. Who am I? The question I probably won't answer my whole life. I mean, this is... <laughs> It's really good writing. <laughs> Chucky Yodo, we are Chucky Yodo, you make a call of Google ship from the Pathetic 
<laughs> oh shit dude oh shit. Woo! all right you know what guys i did not expect it to be this much this crazy you know i thought it was just a trailer i thought it was a trailer but uh, so so I didn't come as prepared as I should have been. My camera battery is running low, so we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna get a full charge, and we're gonna finish this up. Here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna start with this verse. Alright, so first of all, he's playing with like three different cadences. How do you feel? See, he's, he's saying it as if it's a question. You see that he makes a joke and he laughs at it with his cadence. <laughs> I mean, this is so good, dude. The music video is crazy, too. He switches his flow so many times. This part's pretty cool. Dude, this, this part right here is so sick. The way he's dancing and using his body language with his verses, he's like, <laughs> I mean, he's emphasizing at the right moment. He's just, he's so good at what he's doing. I like how he kind of puts his head into the camera. Yeah, do you want to fly? Dude, this, this song, this song is so good. Mm. Wanna go? Do you wanna fly? Drink. Dude, they got that classic Kanye West chipmunk vocal. All right, so we get a drum switch right here. And you know, aside from the drums, it's cool. He's kind of like talking about himself, who he thinks he was, and stuff. And then he, and then he switches it. He says, "Dear myself," and then he starts telling himself his future self what to remember. All right, let's get to the DK DK TV. comeback trailer to their latest album, The Map of the Soul, Persona, and it is absolutely amazing. The album title is the same as a well-known book about psychologist Carl Jung's Principles of Individuation, and BTS does no hiding that this is related, as there are many references to Carl Jung's theories as well as quotes in the MV. So to truly understand the song, we need to dig a little bit deeper into Carl Jung's series, which is what we'll do right in this video. Carl Jung divided the psyche or the human mind into the consciousness and the unconsciousness. He believed that by tapping onto and confronting the parts of the unconsciousness, one could obtain self-knowledge and lead to self-betterment. Today, I'll introduce three elements of this principle, the persona, the ego, and the shadow. The persona is one of the elements in the conscious parts of the psyche, the very outer layer. It is a mask slash character that one puts on when they expose themselves to the other world. It's a compromise between the individual's personality and what society thinks one should look and behave like. Fundamentally, the persona is nothing real. 
It is like a borrowed personality that one puts on only in certain situations and then takes them off when they are out of that situation. However, most people suffer from the inflation of this persona and they over identify themselves with this mask, resulting in this mask taking control of your entire psyche. Thus, Jung claimed that one must realize that the persona is not the totality of their being, but just a small component of a much larger personality. And this is achieved by diving into the unconsciousness and dissecting it. Now, another element, the ego, is the center of consciousness. It is what the consciousness believes and views itself to be. Essentially, the character that one thinks he or she should be. However, this is not the true self, as the true self encompasses both the unconsciousness and the conscious parts of the psyche. However, like the persona, many end up identifying themselves with the ego itself. The shadow is the sum of traits that are pushed back deep away from the awareness into the unconsciousness, mostly due to negative feedback or punishment from others when an individual did show these traits. These are the hidden unconscious aspects that the ego has repressed or never really recognized. These are mostly characteristics that one is probably not proud of and do not wish to acknowledge. The persona restricts the realization of the shadow to the outer world. For example, my shadow is right now telling me that I really want to pee in front of the camera right now. But the persona that I have on right now as DKDKTV's Danny restricts me from peeing in front of the camera because the society, you, you the viewers, don't want to see that or don't expect me to see that. So my persona is currently restricting my shadow's urge to pee in front of the camera. Car shopping? Try Cargaroos. Every car is rated from great deal to overpriced. The best deals. From the very first line, Namjoon throws the question, who am I? This is the general theme of this song and possibly this entire album and also the series. He is confused with who he really is. What is his true self? This will likely be the theme of this era of BTS, a journey through their consciousness and unconsciousness to reach the true self. Here RM uses an idiom, 돼지의 진주 목걸이. This is an idiom meaning people who do not know the value cannot appreciate the treasures that are given to them. For pigs, a pearl necklace is basically useless. Now here in this verse, Namjoon is confused. He feels happy with his success, yet he feels like he doesn't deserve all the success. Namjoon doesn't know who he is, but others have rewarded him for his behavior. If you really think about what kind of behavior he was rewarded for, he is being rewarded for his stage persona as RM. Him not knowing his true self and being rewarded for a certain persona makes him identify himself as RM more and more, as we will see in the following verses. Namjoon says hesitation is his shadow. Again, as explained above, shadow is, in the union theory, the traits that are pushed deep away from awareness into the unconsciousness due to negative feedback and punishment from others when they did show those traits. When Namjoon says, ever since I became that, the that here is referring to RM, his stage persona. Notice how he says when he became RM, not when he is RM. RM is originally a persona, a stage persona that he puts on whenever he is with BTS and can take off whenever he isn't. However, Namjoon himself has become RM. RM has become his ego, who he identifies himself with. As RM, he is a leader and cannot be showing his hesitant side. Namjoon identifying himself as RM has repressed his hesitant side even more. You can see the little Namjoon being thrown out onto the ground in this scene. This likely represents the shadow of Namjoon being thrown out, essentially ignoring it exists as he amplifies his RM persona as his defining character, represented by the multiple mirrored images of RM in this scene. 
However, in the lyrics, he talks about something staring at him below the stage or below the lights. If you think about it, what forms beneath him below the lights on the stage? Shadows. Despite Nanjun never really showing his hesitant traits as RM, it was always lurking in his unconsciousness and he was seeing it all along while on the stage. He was anxious because he was ignoring a big part of what made Namjoon, Namjoon. Deep down, Namjoon doesn't think he is worthy enough. Despite RM taking over his ego and projecting himself to be the leader, deep down he sees many flaws in himself. Yet he has been consumed by his persona as RM and believes that people will only appreciate him when he is RM. He says no one wants to see his clumsiness. So this thought reinforces his over-identification with the RM persona. <laughs> Due to his over-identification with his RM persona, it really troubles him. He feels regrets and he has troubling thoughts during the night. However, the butt in front of Kim Namjoon keeps him going, keeps him working. Kim Namjoon is the true self of Namjoon. This Kim Namjoon encompasses the faults and the shortcomings of Namjoon. However, as mentioned above, his persona as RM has taken over him and he feels he is RM. He feels he has to be the RM character or people will not appreciate him. Like he said about how no one is interested in seeing his clumsiness, he feels no one wants to see the true Namjoon. So whenever he wants to get out of the RM persona because he's stressed, because he's uh, having troubling thoughts, he remembers, but I'm Kim Namjoon. If I'm not RM, then I'll be Kim Namjoon, the true me, and no one wants to see the true me, or so he thinks. So that keeps him awake, that keeps him going, as the RM persona. Again, Namjoon is over identifying himself with his persona. He remembers himself as RM at this point, and this is the only method he feels he can vent out. Now, a persona is a fake identity, and Namjoon says he has lied and hidden behind the persona but he isn't embarrassed about that. He thinks the persona is the map of the soul, again, which is a red flag for overly identifying himself with the persona. Also in the video, you can see a huge giant 3D version of RM. It looks very fake, highlighting how a persona is a fake personality. It has also become bigger than Namjoon himself, showing how it has overtaken his ego. <laughs> To sum it up, this is a song of Namjoon overly identifying himself as RM, the persona, and denying his true self with all its flaws and traits. This seems like a fitting theme for the intro to the map of the soul, as likely they will soon come to realize that they must acknowledge and face the shadows, their deep inner flaws, in order to realize their true self and break free from the persona and the ego. I will predict just one thing. This album will not be as upbeat as this comeback trailer makes it seem to be. It may be one of the darkest albums of BTS yet, since these themes will take you deeper into the mind and its not so beautiful parts than any BTS album has ever been. <laughs> I'm really curious about how you interpreted this music video, so please, if you have any thoughts, uh, feel free to comment and also share this with fellow armies. Now, we do have a Patreon page where you can support us and also get some exclusive content. Okay, man, so uh, I guess I'll wrap this up by quoting Shrek. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. You get it! Dude, there are some layers to this music video. And you know, on the first run through, there were moments where I was like, okay, those, yeah, those lyrics are cool. But it didn't really register what it meant. But now it's just like, <laughs> dude, everything is that good. It's all connected like that, man. What the? But uh, yeah, guys, 
If you would like some more BTS reactions, please give me a thumbs up. My second channel is in the description, which hopefully I'll be uploading on soon. And thank you all for watching. Oh, looking at them courage dogs, looking at me, courage dogs, arrow of people who sick in the head, sick of these kids who got parents with yeah, I sinful my nature, but that's what we got. Look off the ledge, y'all gonna be fighting forever, infinity. Much of them in my flow got agility, cut with ability, much of the courage to grow to your flourish and courage civility. Urging the real me choose to get lost in the world and follow your energy, urging my energy. I live a moment and I live in prison. Certainly one day I'm running for president. This news ain't present, though. What is the present? All of the debt they've been stressing my bank account, albeit yeah, this is the road that I've chosen. Now I find it difficult in these flows. You'll find different calls from each coast. I'll be indifferent whenever reflecting. This part of my vision is bringing perfection. I find, I find it.